like to share an exciting occasion with you, the arrival of a box or a few boxes of my new book, The Encyclopedia of Woodworking Techniques, which is now available September 2018. When I say my new book, the original I wrote in 1993. Uh, this is a hardback edition and this one, paperback, is a revamped edition which uh, is quite an exciting moment which I'm sharing with you. So what's the book about? Well, in a nutshell, it's a step-by-step -step illustrated guide on woodworking and its various aspects arranging from using veneers, solid woods, joint cutting, uh, braiding, finishing, using the router, just about everything, wood turnery. Uh, and then an important feature is the theme section which takes up the last section of the book which is a really exciting gallery if you like of the best work mainly from Great Britain, a few examples from America and it includes some of the original examples that I chose in the first book of chairs or pieces of furniture say from Denmark, Scandinavia, here we are we've got an Alvar Alto chair, a Tone, what I call Cafe Society chair, so we've got a real mix I mean, I mean, it really is a visual delight and, you know, the credit largely goes to the art director of the, the publishing company who designed the layouts. I mean, it's actually very similar to the original book. The text has just been updated, the images of uh, machines and tools and health and safety equipment, etc. have been obviously updated trying to find that health and safety should come pretty well at the beginning of the book but at any rate this is very impromptu I think it's a good book uh, of course I'm not allowed to say that woodworkers are supposed to be modest uh, my name's Jeremy Brune I've been woodworking since I gained my A level at the age of 17 in 1962 and I've devoted my whole life to woodworking uh, and my passion for design is expressed in this book. It's quite a unique book in that respect, that there's very few books on the market that not only include modern design, but give an informative description of the pieces. So every, every example here illustrated in the book refers to a technique that is covered in the book. Here we are, button lap joints. Uh, jointing principles. It's really quite thorough and you know it is it's a great accolade for somebody like me to have been invited in the first place to write an encyclopedia on my subject and in fact it is part of a series of encyclopedias. The publishers sent me complimentary copy of a couple of other books that have been revamped in the series. I think originally there were probably around 10 encyclopedias so it's a very nice bookshelf collection. Now yes this is a sales pitch because I actually don't earn a penny from this revamped edition because I had no legal contract with the publisher. I was very lucky to get my foot in the door and insist that I had a say in the way the book looked and the content because it carries my name and my reputation on the cover. So I am offering this book signed copies. Obviously you can buy it cheaper at Amazon but if you buy it directly from me you you will be if you like supporting the artist uh, because as I say I don't earn a penny from it. What I can do is buy these books in at an author's discount and resell them so uh, I've, I've already had a few pre-orders that went out today uh, so I'm very grateful to those people they get a signed copy what else can I say if I were a total beginner at woodwork or wanted to give a loved one a special gift I, 
I, this would be high on the list because it, it's in it's in simple everyday language. It deals with the absolute basics, but it also appeals to all levels of woodworking. So it's not only highly informative, but it's also an inspirational book, a book that, well, it certainly inspires me. <laughs> Uh, and I'm an experienced woodworker, but it inspires me. In fact, it's a great honour for me to include some of the the leading practitioners in the field of woodworking. Here you are, Katie Walker. Look at that gorgeous twist laminated chair. And Jolyon Yates. See, I just happened to open the page at random. And here we are. We've got Fred Bayer, the prism chair there. Fred Bayer, a well-known furniture maker that I exhibited with on many an occasion uh, back in the 70s, 80s and 90s. And here's uh, a newcomer to me, Tom Vaughan. But what an incredible piece of wood sculpture that is, the ribbon chair. So these examples express the techniques. And of course, um, it caters to all tastes, traditional, modern, you know, design doesn't have to be radical. Uh, but what else can I say? This is very much off the cuff. Uh, my new book, currently available. Well, thanks for watching.